Hey everyone, welcome back to h &S Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, so today I want to show a recent pickup from Walmart. Uh, after three or four tries, three or four different stores, I finally found a Walmart. Uh, now I hesitate to say near me because it's about a 80 minute drive from here, but uh, finally found one that handles NECA. And I'll have a chance to hit it about once a month because it's near the scrapbook store that my wife goes to once a month uh, for her projects. So anyway, uh, one of the first ones I picked up at this store is the 2009 uh, remake Jason Voorhees from NECA. And uh, so I've given this movie some grief. I really need to watch it again and give it another chance. I intend to once I get the Scream Factory set uh, in October because I don't currently have a copy of it. I'll wait for that. Um, but I love that cover and I like this look for Jason. So uh, yeah, go and give it another shot. Uh, so there he is on the side. You get kind of the same image on the top. Uh, on the back, uh, just some you know, various different shots of him in different poses. And open it up, and there he is. And you can see we have uh, a knife, a fire poker, a machete, the bag head, uh, the mask, an extra hand, a, a hammer, a screwdriver, so I'm uh, going to go ahead and get him out of the box and get a closer look at him and the accessories. And here he is out of the box. So uh, just getting a good look at him. Uh, he's, he's tall. Um, I'm probably on scale with the other Jasons. I'll have to put him up beside and see if he actually is just a touch taller. But he kind of looks like it to me. Um, got the bag on his hip there. Uh, coat's nice and pliable. Uh, hair stringy hanging down. Uh, the mask is removable. And there's his face up close. Pretty good detail. I like that. I think it looks good. And the mask itself looks really good. And out of the movie, of course. Uh, Let's see, that's about right. Um, yeah, now we'll uh, look at the other head, and I'll pop this on here in a second uh, so you can see it on him. But uh, bag head, uh, as good detail on a bag head as you can get, I guess. Um, earlier I said <clears throat> that this was a hammer, and it looks more like a. Uh, uh, an ice axe or a pry bar or something. I uh, don't really remember that from the movie, but I'm going to have to, like I said, watch it again, check it out. Got the screwdriver there. And the two sided axe. Of course, extra right hand for him. Uh, a little bit bigger of a grip, it looks like, to hold uh, the axe. It looks like the hand that's on him right now is a very small grip, more for, for these items or the fire poker. They actually have a handle, so there's the, the fire poker. I think I'm going to have to switch hands the game to hold the machete. I'll be posing him with the machete because that's one thing I do like about this, Jason, was the huge machete. Um, when I met Kane Hodder, uh, I had him sign a, a rather large one. Uh, so I'm going to uh, swap him around with accessories in the head, let you see that. And here he is with the alternate head on and holding the machete. I'm going to keep with the uh, hockey mask head, uh, but holding the machete. So uh, that's it. That's him. Uh, it's a pretty good figure. Uh, the only criticism I might have of it is he does uh, kind of list to one side, almost like the right leg is a little bit longer than the left, but I'll get that stabilized and straightened out uh, when I put him on the shelf. So, yeah, if you... Uh, come across one of these I recommend you get it he looks pretty good um, and of course can't get enough Jason so that's it for now uh, like and subscribe if you haven't take care of yourselves take care of each other I'll talk to you later thanks